Hello and welcome to SnowRunner Weekly News. Now I'm UK Gamer 808 and I take you through all the SnowRunner news as it happens. So if that interests you, then you know what to do. Keep coming back and I'll keep updating you on what's going on. So today is Sunday and we're doing the weekly roundup of what's been going on in SnowRunner community. Now for me, I did think it was going to be quite quiet this week and how wrong I was. So first off this week, we had the release of the Chevy Apache 6x6, which which I've been using that a hell of a lot when it first came out. I wasn't that impressed with it. And I think it was more on how they brought it out. Whereas we knew the Apache was around, but nobody said it was going to be paid. So we all thought it was going to be included in a DL uh, season pass. And no, they brought it out and said, well, you got to pay for that, which is a bit naughty. And it caused absolute outrage in the community. The amount of messages on the forums or what have you is unbelievable, where everyone was really, really pissed about that because they they should have said, no, it's come, as soon as we knew about the patchy, if they'd come out and said, well, yeah, we've got a patchy coming out, but it's going to be paid content. I think everyone would have bitched about it, but they would have not expected it and know it was paid content. So they should have been a lot clearer on that. But it is part of a pack, so it is the Classico pack. Now, whether there's going to be more vehicles with that, because they're sort of implying that there will be, and there needs to be really, because it is $3.99, so if we got a couple more extra vehicles, then that would be cool. There's no word on whether we're going to get any more vehicles for the Classico pack yet, but we've got the Chevy Apache to be playing with for the time being, although it is missing the trailer hitch on the back of it. But apart from that, it is a pretty good skate. Stability of it is amazing. It really is. So next thing we have is we had the... They come on to Focus Forums, to um, at, well, to do with the Class Eco Pack, and basically they said they should have been a bit clearer than what they were, and it was like, well, yeah, you should have you should have been clear, you should have told us what was going on with the Class Eco Pack, and then we would have all been happy about it. Well, not all of us been happy about it, but we would have been happier knowing that it was paid content rather than expecting it, and then we don't get it, but there you go. So next big news for this week is phase two. So we're actually talking about phase two now, which is the brand new Canadian region. Now I'm going through all this again because we've had so many more subscribers. It's crazy. Now the two new maps are two new maps of four kilometers. The big and they're the biggest map, the same as a Mandra. So that be good to get stick into now what they're doing with this one is changing things slightly where you are building a large ore processing plant from scratch now the plant is made of three buildings and you can decide which buildings you want to put up at whatever times where you've got to bring the materials to the site in order for it to get going and then we also have the it's a winter region map but it won't be 100% snow like Alaska, which I know a lot of people didn't want because I do prefer Michigan, to be honest. That's probably my favourite map at the moment where they're going to have on the on the new regions. We're going to have a little bit of snow, some mud and some flooded parts as well and some fast flowing torrents, which is something what we're missing from Mud Runner. Anyway, that was one of the things in Mud Runner I used to love where it was like you had to be careful going through the river. Otherwise, you'd get swept away. So that's pretty cool. Now, the vehicles we know about is the Cat Fort Lift, which is for material handling for the new cargo add-ons, which is pretty cool. Then we have the new Cat Bin Type, which was the Cat 77G, I think it was, which is the biggest truck in the series. There's one new Russian truck. I haven't had it confirmed exactly what Russian truck that is. And then there's three new vehicle skins. And of course, we've got the the two new extreme cargos which we don't know nothing about at the moment really now next thing is the free for all players where we've got the option to secure trucks on trailers is going to be happening and that's something which uh, would have been nice at the start but it's coming that's the main thing and then also the in game fully working mod browser which brings on console mods then we have new contracts in alaska and tamar which Always nice to have new contracts coming in and modders can now create four regions with maps tied together so we can put sort of four I would have thought it'd be four maps to one region and then you can go around that whole region going from a map to map so co-op on modded maps will be supported and weather conditions will be fully synced in co-op and there's a lot of new settings which we needed for console so with the option to disable the truck driver model in the cockpit view and the flight the frame the FPS, the frames per minute per second, sorry, 
you can limit that if you want to and there's also going to be some advanced video settings but a date for the release of phase two is not still planned now looking at what we've had before well not they haven't told us exactly but we're talking is going to be october november really isn't it we're just coming up to the end of september so there's i doubt it's going to be coming around in october when we get a little bit nearer the time we know what's going on with the pts because the the update, phase two update has not gone on PTS now at the moment. Now the PTS, for those who don't know, is a public test server and it's a test environment where if you play on PC, you can go and play it on there and then you can report any bugs or just have a play on it. That's that's what it's there for. You can't do it on console, which is a bit of a shame, where it is only on PC at the moment. But how it gets on on pts defines on how quick we're going to get it i.e if it comes on and there's loads of bugs and we have to have loads of different updates to fix these bugs then it's going to be longer a longer wait whereas if it comes on and we're not having too much bugs then it might be looking good for release but really i'm not expecting it till probably november time we we should know closer to the end of october what's going on with that and i will keep you informed so there is the two maps in there which is the flooded foothills and the big salmon peak and the two new trials which is the snowmobile bound valley and Z zalakoods or something like that and that's all in the yukon region so pretty cool then we go on to i did a video the other day about console mods where console mods it looks like they're sort of 99 percent sure they're gonna be coming on phase two now this is a big turn up for the books because i didn't expect this whatsoever but it's been said the devs are saying that it's actually with they playing on ps4 and xbox at the moment all the mods are in there the maps are in there and there isn't any well they're up they're just going through a phase of bug finding and getting the game certified for console which probably that's going to take a while in itself anyway so we'll have to wait for the pts to get sorted as soon as we know that's sorted then it's a two-week certification it might even be more for console mods we just don't know at the moment and then we we will get a release date for console mods but that's something what everyone is dying for and if the console mods do come out on phase two then it will give us lots and lots of content to work through where we'll have hopefully we get some of the modded maps and then we also have all the modded vehicles they're not saying how many modded vehicles or any of that at the moment i'll try and do a bit more research this week and try and find some do some digging and see what what the crack is with it but I can't believe it's actually coming because I was always saying, no, it's not going to be till phase three or four, but it looks like it will be coming in phase two, which is fantastic. So that's your lot for the weekly news roundup. I hope you enjoyed this SnowRunner news and especially with the word of coming with SnowRunner console mods. That is the main topic for everyone. That's what everyone wants and it looks like we all might be getting that. Now going on back onto console mods, you've got to remember that for everyone who's thinking, oh, I'm going to have this, I'm going to have that. It will be restricted. You're not going to have any vehicle you want. There will be certain models what will be on there and there'll be probably some models what won't be on there. And it's going to be one of those things where everyone wants console mods, but then they want, oh, I want this mod, I want that mod. And it's like, it's only going to happen if somebody's bought it and if it's available to be put on console. So don't be thinking you're going to have any vehicle you want because you'll only be able to have what mods are made and what mods are certified for console so that's your lot righto that's it for snow running news today i hope you enjoyed this episode and if you did i will see you next week with some more updates thanks for watching